Hey everybody, it's Chris, and welcome to part two of this improving our f little Fluent app here. Uh, in the previous tutorial, I left off, I believe, this uh, semicolon here, and I don't need this anymore. And inside uh, our form here, I left off this parentheses, I believe. So, we, you know, when we go to add new user, Here's our add new user. So, and let's continue where we left off at. So, let's go into where's routes. So, we <coughs> we created our rules, we created our custom messages. So, now we need to validate. So, to do that, we're just going to say v. Uh, equals validator. It's gonna be validator make. It's validator make. And we're just gonna let I did this wrong. So validator make attributes. We say input and we'll leave everything else alone. So input. And that's what it's gonna validate. So if V passes So if V passes, we're going to do this. So cut this out, put it in here. Else, else we're going to return, actually, we're going to return redirect. So, okay, hold on. So redirect to our index page. Else, we're going to return redirect to our create. Uh, let's go over this real quick. Um, so if the validator passes, so if all this passes, if the first name, if they input the first name, last name, they get all that right, and it passes, we're going to go ahead and input that username into the database and return them to the index page. If it doesn't pass, we need to change this to passes. So this is a method. If it doesn't pass, we're going to redirect them back to the create uh, route with input, so within, with their input that they put in, with errors, and that's where we get our errors from, that we had in our, <coughs> um, what is that, here, it's going to return this errors here, so with errors, B, <coughs> and then we're also going to return the message, so with message and I'm thinking that's pretty much it let's try it out so we'll return here let's add a new user let's say from the state so George Washington and let's add a new user and it redirected us right back to the app in the front end. So let's go ahead and add another use. Test our um, test our validation. So let's go Moby and try to add a user. Oh, last name is required. Okay, add a new user. First name is required. Last name is required. I mean, you can put that anywhere. We could have put it in here if we wanted to. Um, uh, so let's do our just try one more. Abraham Lincoln add user. There we go. So you see we just um fluent is really easy to use. There's really nothing hard about uh Laravel. Once you know the, the simple syntax of what you're using, uh it really becomes easy. Uh, once you know, you know, your if statements for blade, 
um, you know, and the rest of us just didn't, you know, this is just base. This right here is just basic uh, PHP. So, you know, these FL statements, uh, you can throw everything to an array. It's really easy to use. But stay tuned for our next tutorial. <coughs> Excuse me. Stay tuned for our next tutorial because I want to go. I think I want to go into models in our next tutorial, and you know, go into models since it's really a model is a requirement to actually use Eloquent. So I think we're going to go into models next. So stay tuned for the next tutorial, and thank you for watching.